by what's been sort of flowing to and fro this week in the media about it? Oh, look, I think, uh, you know, it was bound to happen. But at the same time, uh, you know, I'm not interested in making comparisons between the two coaches. And uh, I have great respect for both men. And, uh, you know, I'm just focusing on the game on, on Saturday night. For someone who, who did play under Ange for a couple of years, how would you hope that the crowd would receive him tomorrow? Yeah, obviously, he's going to get a mixed emotion. I think if, uh, you know, a, a, any player or coach that leaves a team, you know, obviously, he was a successful one. He's going to get a lot of people that, that applaud him and a lot of people that would probably just boo him. But uh, maybe they're the ones that have had a, few, a few too many beers. <laughs> Does it give you an extra motivation? Like, if you, you want to get the first win against him rather than him come back and beat you guys? Oh, look, I think, you know, we, we're just looking at the season. We, we didn't get three points last week, and we needed three points this week. If it was against Ange or against another team, we'd, we'd still be with the same uh, endeavour. I guess, do you know, having been coached by him, do you pretty much know what to expect from the victory as far as tactics and how they'll play? Yeah, we've had a good look at them this week, oh, no doubt, but uh, they're, they're trying to play a similar style of football. They're trying to keep the ball a little bit more, but um, I think it's going to be a cracking game because both both teams are going to try and keep the ball and um, you know it's going to be a great game for, for Australian football. Probably the right time to play them as well because they're, they're only just starting to learn this, this new style from Ange and you guys are practicing and pressing pretty hard there. Yeah, well, we've had our group together for two years and I think that's a massive advantage for us. Um, you know, no doubt uh, Ange has put them through their paces in, in, in the off-season and uh, I think last week probably wasn't the, the real Melbourne victory, so we should expect a, a tough test. But did Hart show you how you can go about it though? Oh, look, I think uh, any team that tries to keep the ball in their own half, obviously everyone's first initial thought is to press and try and win the ball there. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll definitely try a few different things. But, uh, you know, we, we worry about ourselves and, you know, hopefully uh, victory have to worry about us. They're a bit depleted as well. It's not a bad time to get yeah, I mean, they've lost a couple to international duty. They've got some quality players in there. and uh, But, you know, the, the signings that he's, he's made over in the off-season, they're, they're going to be you know, just as good to step up. What about Armand watching then last week? Flores, I think having him on the same field as Bruce is going to be something to see. Yeah, it'll be great for the fans, no doubt. It's going to be uh, a, bit of, a bit of a flary match. And um, I'm really excited about seeing them going to and fro with each other. And uh, obviously, they're going to be you know, creating most of the, the, the well, goal-scoring opportunities. So, um, yeah, he's one we'll have to look at. And obviously, we, we've got Thomas, so uh, delighted. Were you surprised that he said that you got that some of the uh, comments out of this camp were uh, disrespectful, uh, um, disrespectful and distasteful? Um, oh, I mean, you know, I, I don't know exactly know what's been said. I don't really read into that too much. I think, uh, you know, we should just both worry about our, our own games and, and get on with it.